Hey, hi, hello, my friends. It's Christy with 4 a.m. Jump Journals. Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, welcome. I am here today to do a double sided pocket project with you, um, or a two pocket tag. And these we were doing for a swap over on Junk Journals Crafts and More, um, where I am blessed enough to be an admin. We are a wonderful Facebook community that if you have not already checked out, I highly encourage you to do so. Um, we are swapping these pockets, well, these tags with the pockets. So it's a double pocket tag. And um, so this is what I have created. And I thought I'd make a couple of more with you today. So let's jump right in. While we do, we'll talk. Okay, so the way I'm doing this is I'm using envelopes, just regular business envelopes. Uh, these are pretty old. Some of them have sealed shut, but that's okay because all we're going to do to start is we are going to slice open three sides. So I'm going to cut here along the top. And down this side and then I'll flip it over and cut down this side as well. I'm going to do that with both of them. Right. I'll do that with both of them. Ah! There we go. So how is everyone today? I hope you're doing well. I am doing okay. Um, been a bit since I've been able to actually sit down and make a video. And I will tell you, I'm going to try extremely hard to have absolutely no uh, editing necessary for this video because I just don't have time for it. Um, not because I want to put out crappy content, um, but because I just don't have the time. And I hope that my content will continue to be valuable to you um, without me having to edit. So I'm just gluing down where it's like popped up over here um, with my glue stick. Just like that. And we'll check this side. And we'll do this side as well because while these envelopes had sealed themselves, they still had little corners that had not. And we're going to fix that and seal them. Okay, perfect. All right, so the next thing that we want to do is we want to turn them over like this and we're going to just fold this up to whatever size we like. Okay. And then I'm going to come right down the middle right along that fold line. I'm going to cut it and then I'm going to take just a sliver from each side. Like that. We'll do the other one. Okay, so while I'm doing this, um, just as a reminder, I have started, I started last month, I'm doing a monthly giveaway where um, anyone who comes in and watches one of my videos and comments on it um, is automatically entered into the giveaway. And at the first day of the following month, I draw two winners and both of them receive free copies of every digital collection I put out in the month. 
meaning that for the month of September, any of September's videos that you comment on um, get you an entry into the drawing. And on October 1st, I will draw the winners and they will receive any new digital collections that I made and put into my coffee shop in the month of September. Right now, as of filming, I think I have three or four new collections already for the month of September, and we have a lot of the month left. So, just something to keep in mind if you like digitals, which so many of us do. Um, I'm just taking a little bit off of that side as well, just because it looked rough. And totally, probably not necessary, but all right. So the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to unfold this like that. And then I'm going to be working with two different digital kits today. Um, this one is the one that just came out yesterday. It's called Golden Moments, um, A Journey Through Fall. And for golden moments, now some of these that I keep in my folders are bad print, bad prints that, you know, I print as I go to check and see how things look. And so some of them will be bad prints, but most of them I think we'll try that one. Most of them are good enough to use at least parts of them. So um, yeah. Okay. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to first decide this is going to be my front. So I'm going to want to put my little guy on the front. Just trimming the edges off. And then I'm wondering, maybe we'll, we, we could just do both of them using the Golden Harvest collection. Um, da -dum, da -dum, da -dum. I can't decide. We'll decide in a minute. Okay, so I'm going to put him on there just like so. So what I want to do is bring over my glue. Um, if you've been around my channel for a while, you guys know I gave up using Aline's Tacky Glue for the most part. I still have some hanging around that I use up occasionally, you know, work to use up occasionally. But um, I pretty much use Fabri-Tac exclusively at this point. And used to be that I had lots of crafting time, and when I did, um, I was going through a lot of Fabri-Tac. These days, a bottle is lasting me quite some time. So while it's more expensive, I find that it is worth it. I think even if I was using a lot of it, I would probably still find that it was worth it. Just because it's so reliable for its hold and it's it doesn't... Um, Tend to have that watery effect as badly as some of the others. Okay, perfect. We've got him covered. And now we're going to come over and we're going to do this other side. And I'm going to do the welcome to the pumpkin patch on this other side. Where is that? It should not be doing that. Why is that doing that? I think it'll be okay. Um... Hmm. I'm going to pull it up some because I don't really need it down below the pocket. Um, and I really want this part to show, but I also want the bird to show. So I have to get it just right. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to put the glue on. To be careful not to go too low because I do not want to glue the pocket shut. 
thing. I'm going to use this other one as a guide. So we want this up higher than this. But we'd like to keep the bird. So maybe about right there, I think. Oh, it's done moving. It says, nope, you are where you're going to be. Okay, that's fine. Um, I'm going to just cut along here. If you guys are interested um, in this digital collection, I will have a link to my coffee shop below. Um, and you are welcome to check that out. As of right now, um, it's on sale for the introductory price of only $3. Um, today is, uh, what day is it? February 8th? I believe it, or February, good gracious, Christy. September 8th, I believe, is the date today. And as of today, it is on a one-week introductory special price. So if you're interested, check it out. That would really help me out, and um, I'd appreciate it. And if you're not interested in this collection, you might find something else there that interests you, and if you would follow my shop, that would be wonderful. I would appreciate it. Okay, so now we've got that part covered, right? And it's fabulous! And now we're going to, this This is no longer, I think, large enough to do anything with. Well, maybe. <laughs> maybe. Maybe we should do right. We could do that. It's big enough for that. Okay, so let's cut this part off. And we will set that over there for scrap. Because yeah. I have my, oh, where did I put it? Yesterday, oh, it's right there. Yesterday, my husband uh, took me to the thrift shop, and one of my thrifty finds, I got this box, you know, like you buy at Michael's for two bucks, and I found one for 50 cents. And so, and I've got a bunch of these boxes, but, you know, they're so handy. And so, I set it here on my desk, and that's where my, I'm working on stuff scraps goes. Yeah. So, here we are. All right. So we're going to just flip this over. Now remember when you're doing this that if it's a directional image, it needs to go like this. So when you flip it over, it needs to be like this, right? So I'm going to cover. I hope you guys are crafting along with me today. So let's see, what's been going on in my world that I can tell you about? Well, work. <laughs> I have been working. How about y'all? Have you been working? Um, yeah, so as a lot of you know, I'm currently working two jobs as well as going to school. And, um, and trying to do all of my other life things. So I've been busy. Um, other than that, other than that, what? I've been working on making digitals. I've discovered a real passion for the digitals. And so, um, in reality, a lot of my crafty time is now taken up with digitals. As opposed to, um, you know, other crafty journal-y stuff. So, um, Let's pull out one of the smaller ones, and we want to look at the pumpkin patch. So I'm wondering about maybe his head could go on the back. What do y'all think? So maybe I'll just cut right along here and up the wagon. And watch, it'll be too small. Dang it, I did. I cut it too small. Ah! All right. And I don't think I have another print of that one. Let's look. Let me just toss that in there. Um, don't. What if we...
We can use the squirrels. Let's use the squirrels on the pocket. All right. Um, what was I talking about? Jeez, I'm a disaster. What was I talking about? Um, yeah. Oh, digitals. Yeah, I've, I've discovered a real passion for them. Um, and so, you know, I start, when I started, um, I would just, you know, like create it directly, like tell AI what kind of scene to make or whatever. And um, then when I finally got what I was aiming for, then, you know, I could clean it up a bit, do some work to it and um, put it out. But these days, I still do some primarily AI um, partnered stuff, but I've started doing more and more of like these collage sheets like this, where um, I am actually like taking element by element and putting together a collage. And these are where my real passion lies. Um, I really am enjoying it. Now, that said, you know, I mean, it takes a long time. Um, I have some that I've done that took upwards of four hours to do a single page, a single collage. Um, so it's just like when I sit down with um, my materials and supplies and um, create, you know, by hand a collage, which takes forever, right? Um, and it's the same thing on my digitals now when I do the collage pages, and I really enjoy those. And so this particular collection has like four, I think, of those collage pages in it, maybe five. So that it was fun to make. Um, okay. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> just totally hit the camera. Knocked you guys for a loop. Gee, thanks, Christy. We needed that. Now we're seasick. It'd be alright. It'd be alright. Okay. Love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Now, before I do anything else, I'm going to bring over my Ranger Distress Ink Walnut Stain. And I'm just going to go really lightly around the edges of the whole thing. Okay, like that. Okay, now we're going to set that to the side and we're going to pull this one over. All right, and we are going to look at the other collection I pulled out for us to play with. Now this one is called, oh my goodness, what did I call this one? Um... Shoot. It'll be linked below. I'm sorry. My mind just went totally blank. Um, antiquity, antiquity, antiquity. Um, something antiquity, I think. Ah, brains. My brain hurts, guys. My brain hurts. And I have so many prints because I was having trouble getting it just right for what I wanted. Let's just see what we come up with here. We'll play with it. Ooh, 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 ooh. Maybe we'll use that. Let's use 
this. Let's use that. Okay. It's bugging me. I can't remember the name of the collection. I'm going to look here in a minute. That's ridiculous. And you guys, those of you who follow me on Facebook are probably over there screaming it out. Like, Christy, come on. You created it. You named it. Can't you remember anything? <laughs> no, that's my ADHD kicking in. I'm sorry. But, yeah. So today is Sunday. Oh shoot, I think I just got that so crooked. It'll be all right. Doesn't matter. Um, so today is Sunday. What are you doing on this Sunday? Hopefully some crafting and fun. I think I'm repeating my questions. Y'all are probably going, we already answered this. Stop talking. Sorry. But there's, you know, it's it's um I love doing videos, but it's interesting to be sitting here trying to <sighs> what am I doing? That's the wrong side. Is that the right? No, that's the right side. Okay, just kidding. Just kidding. Um <laughs> It's interesting to be sitting here doing videos, trying to think of things to say, right? It's like, because it's like you're talking to yourself, but at the same time, you're talking to a friend. So it's like, well, I don't know what to say, especially since y'all can't answer me. And I tried doing the live thing. I tried it twice, and I'm terrible. I can't figure it out. Why can't I figure this out? Everybody does them, and I can't figure it out. I need to watch some more tutorials, but I need time to do that. So for right now, I just sit here and talk to myself. It's okay. I even answer myself, but don't tell anybody that because I don't want the guys in the white coats to come and get me. Okay, we're going to go ahead and do this side. <laughs> so, other things that have been going on in my life. Um, uh, oh, so um, my car had broken down. Like, oh gosh, I hit the camera again. I'm sorry. So, like, um, two weeks ago, I think. Okay, well, first, let me back up. So, my car had um, broken down a couple of months ago maybe or a month and a half ago and um, it hadn't really broken down it started acting weird um, and like jumping all over the highway as I was driving so we discovered it was a wheel bearing going bad on my car now my car is a hybrid so you know of course nothing is cheap on a hybrid so my husband replaced the wheel bearings and I drove it around and um, then I drove, so my, my teaching job is, uh, it's a three and a half hour drive each way, uh, two days a week. And so um, I drove it there for a, uh, before the term starts type meeting 
and um, uh, because the meeting started so early, I was like, well, I'm just, I'm going to get an Airbnb and stay the night, and that way, you know, um, I can start back early the next morning and get to my other job on time at 8 a.m., but, um, you know, have been rested. So, I did that, and I stayed at the Airbnb. Well, on my way there, um, the car started kind of making a strange noise and acting a little weird, but not bad. I mean, just kind of, you know, whatever. And so... I get there, and let's decide real quick what we're going to do here, and then I'll finish my story. So I'm wondering about maybe using this, or, 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 we could... Use. Yes. Um, let's do this. So, I stay the night, everything's fine, whatever. Um, get up the next morning super early to head back home. Well, actually, okay. So, the, the university is three and a half hours one direction, right? And then my other job is 45 minutes from my home the other direction. So, I actually had, or 40 minutes. So, I actually had um, four hours and ten minutes worth of drive. Okay. So, I get up early and I'm going to head back and go straight to work um, without coming home first. Well, the Airbnb where I stayed is on a, a lake. It's like a little cabin on a lake. And I've stayed there before, and it's absolutely beautiful, and I love it. But um, they have, like, the parking areas are set off by railroad ties, you know, those big hunks of wood. And um, so they're framed out by these railroad ties. Well... I went out, it was like super early in the morning. I don't do well in driving in the dark anyway because um, my eyes are old. <laughs> and um, there are, you know, I, I'm on this lake and there's, you know, it's it's out in the middle of black attack and nowhere. So, you know, there's wildlife. And so I'm a little bit nervous walking out there because, you know, you can hear things. And so, I'm, um, you know, rushing to get in the car and um, get my stuff in the car, whatever. And so, I jump in the car and lock the doors because in addition to wildlife, you never know what else might be out there, right? And I'm not saying anything. I mean, the, the Airbnb is beautiful and I love it. And I'm not, you know, but, but I'm paranoid. And I'm a 50-plus-year-old woman alone, um, you know. In a strange place so um so i jump in my car and i lock the doors and i'm a little nervous and so i start the car up and i'm gonna you know get out of there and i pull forward guys my car drove right over that railroad tie and got stuck on top of the railroad tie and i was like holy crap i don't know what to do so I called my husband, who of course was at work, because he drives a school bus, so he's um, up and off early, right? And um, plus he's three and a half hours away. <laughs> so I call him and I'm like, I don't know what to do. And he's like, uh, I'm not sure. And so finally we decide, you know, I can't back up. It, w it will not back off of it. And he's afterwards, he's like, it's a good thing you didn't because you'd have torn the whole underside of the car or something but anyway so we decide just try to go ahead and drive the rest of the way forward right over the thing 
And so I did, and I got off the tie and got out of there. <laughs> so that was a whole cluster, right? And so then um, on the way home, the car is really acting up. So at this point, I think I've done something to it. Um, I'm not. Oh gosh, I am so sorry. I'm not thinking about um, you know on the way up there yesterday how it was acting weird. I'm just thinking about what I just did, and I'm sure that I've torn the car up, right? And so I stop a couple of times along the way, and I'm like you know sitting there nervous, and on the side of on the side of a dark a like road where there's like nobody guys so there is like nobody for miles and um so i'm sitting there i'm a nervous wreck i don't know what to do and um, i'm calling my husband and of course he's on a bus and so finally he gets back to me and he's like um just try and get home and if you get you know Stuck, stuck, let me know and I'll come get you after work. I'm like, great, wonderful. Here I am, right? And so then, so there we go, guys. See? Awesome. Okay, so the next step, I'll finish my story in a second. So the next step is to take this and we're going to just glue along the bottoms like this and up the sides because we're going to leave the top of this open to be a pocket as well so like that and like that now there are other options for that, but this is the way we're doing it. Because I could have not glued this shut and covered the inside and made it into like an open booklet type, but I'm not. So this is what we're doing. Anyway, um, and then we're going to come down here. Um, hold on. Okay, so, um, so I'm driving home. And it's just getting worse and worse and worse. And it's making me a nervous dang wreck. Well, I get home and I'm like. Because. Oh, oh, let me back up. It's starting to act like there's something wrong with the transmission. Like it does not want to shift gears, right? And I'm like, well, crap. Did I tear up the transmission? I mean, this is, this is not good, right? And so instead of going straight to work, I came home. And I want to have my husband check the transmission fluid. Well, I get here, and because I had not contacted him to tell him I was coming home before I went to work, he's gone to my son's house in another town to help him do some things. So he's not even here when I get here. So now I'm not just frustrated, I am pissed, right? <laughs> So I drive to work, and my boss is like, okay, well, um, oh, well, no, 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 let me back up. So um, when I got home, I switched over to my son's car, and I left my car at home. And so anyway, so um, when I get to work, I'm telling my boss what happened, and she's like, well, let's have our, um, our yard guy. Uh, take a look at it because he's Mr. Fix It, right? He can fix just about anything. And I said, Well, I didn't bring it, but I'll drive it here tomorrow. Okay. So the next day, 
I drive my car, and my husband's like, well, that's good, because, you know, he's struggling to, you know, work on it. Um, so, the next day I take it to work for him to look at, and it was running horrible at this point. I mean, horrible. And so, I take it over there for him to look at, and he's like, it's not something I can fix. He's like, transmissions on these cars are extremely expensive and extremely difficult. I can't, I can't do it. And I'm like, great. So, I look it up and to take it to the shop and have a new transmission or even a rebuild or whatever, whatever those things are, um, put into it, it's going to cost me, you know, upwards of four or five thousand dollars and I'm like mm, no this car is toast it's history I'm done I don't know what I'm gonna do so and you guys heard me say how much driving I do right right okay so the next day I start hunting for what am I gonna do well my brother-in-law um, has been had been recently injured and he was um, off work and not supposed to do a lot of driving because he had hurt himself. And um, so he loaned me his car for two days. Well, I kept his car for four days, but for two days of driving to the university and back. And um, then it was the weekend. And so I wasn't worried about it on the weekend. And I was using my son's car to get to and from my job that's 40 minutes away, but my son's car isn't that great and would not make that long drive to the university. So then the next week, I borrowed my sister's car for one day, um, but then the next time she was going to have to have it, which was this past Thursday, she was gonna have to have it for um, going to the doctor. And so, um, couldn't loan it to me and so I'm like mm, what am I gonna do what am I gonna do tried to rent a car they called me and they're like we don't have your car even though I had reserved it online that's the second time they've done that to me guys same place two times in a row um, and so I'm like well I'm just gonna cancel class we'll just do class asynchronous that day it'll be you know it's one day it's fine and this week um, this coming week, I had already planned from the beginning of the term not to be there. So um, it was built into my syllabus that we would be asynchronous in this coming week. So it wasn't a big deal. It would give me an extra week to figure out what to do. Well, in the meantime, my husband's like, you know, I have an idea of what it could be. And it might not be the transmission. He's like, well, let me order these parts and then we'll look at it this weekend and see if it fixes it. And I'm like, okay, but this is going to have to be the end of it because I'm not going to dump a bunch of money into this car if I'm going to turn around and get rid of it because I can't fix it, right? So that was this weekend. So yesterday, my husband goes out and he's out there about three, it doesn't seem like three hours to me, but he says it was about three or three and a half hours. Um, and he's out there and he comes back in and he's like, I'm going to go drive it. And I'm like, okay. And so then he calls me and I'm thinking, oh God, he's broken down. He needs me to come get him. I answer the phone. I'm like, hello. And he's like, it's fixed. I'm like, no way. He's like, yep, it's fixed. So then last night I'm like, okay, I want to go drive it because I want to know, you know. And so we go out and guys it's fixed <laughs> I mean, it is now I say that with a little bit of trepidation because as sure as I say that I'll go to drive it this week and it'll be like rawr, 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 rawr. but it looks to be fixed <laughs> um, and I'm so excited and today he's gonna go out there and replace um, I think he called it a sway bar that's making it kind of go clunk when I hit a bump, but that's nothing because 
the transmission or what I thought was a transmission issue that actually wasn't is fixed. So I'm stupid excited. I don't have to buy a car and or quit my job <laughs> or you know, <laughs> those things that in my mind I was going to do, you know. So I'm just inking at this point, guys. Essentially, these are done and ready to be filled. Now, what I don't like, and this is entirely on me, is I didn't cover to the bottom of the pockets very well. Um, so there's like, I'll show you in a second. Hold on. On this side, it's fine, right? Because on this side, um, it looks good. When you flip it over to this side, you see how there's like, you can see a little bit of the envelope and the same over here, right? But it's okay. I don't think it's that big a deal. And there they are. And so then at that point, it's just decorating and filling the pockets. So like I did here. There we go. All right. Well, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this and thank you for listening to my story. <laughs> I hope you found this useful or at the very least entertaining. I hope that you crafted along with me and I hope you'll join me again for another video very soon. If you like what you saw today, be sure and give me a big thumbs up. If you'd like to see more from this channel, hit the subscribe button, click the little bell, hit all, and it will notify you every time I upload a new video. Leave me a comment down below. Remember that enters you into the drawing on October 1st. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you're crafting today. Drop me a picture. I'd love to see it. I'll talk with all of you again soon. Bye for now.